soils have sustained the Indian civilization since thousands of years as they have provided food and sustenance to growing plants. In order to protect this precious natural resource and make its best possible use, the Indian Council of Agricultural Research established ICAR, Indian Institute of Soil Science, in the year 1988 at Bhopal. The ICR, Indian Institute of Soil Science, was established on 16th April 1988 under the Natural Resource Management Division of the Indian Council of Agricultural Research. The mandate of the institute is basic and strategic research on physical, chemical and biological processes in soils related to management of nutrients, water and energy, advanced technologies for sustainable soil health and quality, coordinate the network research with state agricultural universities, national, international and other research organizations. The institute is working to enhance soil productivity with minimum environmental pollution. The Indian Institute of Soil Science is a unique institute of its kind in India, completely dedicated to soil research. The institute is working on four flagship programs. These are soil health management and input use efficiency, promoting conservation agriculture and carbon sequestration vis-a-vis -vis climate change, microbial diversity characterization and use in soil health maintenance, minimization of soil pollution, remediation, of polluted soil for environmental security. The institute has four distinct divisions and two specialized laboratories to execute these flagship programs. The institute conducts its outreach research programs through three all India coordinated research projects and one network project having 83 centers distributed throughout the country. The institute is supported by a research advisory committee and institute research council the meeting of which is held twice a year. The institute has well equipped laboratories with state-of-the-art instruments. These laboratories house the instruments like inductively coupled plasma optical emission spectrometer, mid-infrared spectrometer, gas chromatograph, BET softometer for determining surface area of nanoparticles, CN analyzer, leaf area meter, lyophilizer, total organic carbon analyzer, flow injection analyzer, atomic absorption spectrophotometer and others. The institute also has a rich library, prioritization and monitoring cell, agricultural knowledge management unit and museum. The institute is supported by an efficient administrative section. Spread in an area of 50 hectares, the institute has well laid out field experiments and screen house, open top chamber for climatological studies and a training hostel. Off late, most of our important soil based production systems are showing the signs of fatigue with increasing number of nutrient deficiencies. Also, the current nutrient use efficiencies in India are quite low. It is a huge challenge to sustain soil productivity under such situation. The first step to address this challenge is to have spatial information on the nutrient availability. The institute has prepared geo-referenced soil fertility maps for major, secondary and micronutrients of 176 districts of India. Since its inception in 1967, ICR sponsored All India Coordinated Research Project on Soil Test Crop Response, strike for balance between soil productivity, crop productivity, farmer's profitability, and higher response ratio of applied nutrient. In recent years, STCR developed GPS and GS-based soil fertility maps of 175 districts of India and developed nutrient plan based on these maps. STCR has also ventured into the soil spectroscopy, especially use of mid-infrared spectroscopy in STCR studies. Also, through tribal subplant program, it was possible to reach the unreached and serve the unserved in the some remotest corners of country in as many as 25 states of India. STCR, as it was done earlier also, 
it is for the farmers welfare and also for development of customized fertilizer and decision support system by the industry also this is the main technical backstopping force behind the government of india soil health mission the most important program is mapping and delineation of micro and secondary nutrient deficiencies across the country till now we have developed block wise deficiency maps for 502 districts in addition we have also developed agroecological region wise maps across the country we have also analyzed the contribution of micronutrients to the national food grain production it comes about 30 million tons in addition we are having a program on forecasting of micronutrient deficiency in india the research on micronutrients has gained new momentum as the entire cycle of soil plant animal continuum is being explored the most important program we have launched recently that is micronutrient and heavy metals in soil plant animal human continuum for this program we are having collaboration with several medical institutions uh, some of the veterinary institutions for example we are having collaboration with all india institute of medical sciences bhopal the division of soil chemistry and fertility is the front line division of the institute generating wisdom and techniques for sustaining soil health and improving nutrient use efficiency since its inception the division has been working relentlessly under the flagship program of soil health management and nutrient use efficiency and conducting basic and strategic researches related to nutrient management and fertility improvement over the past 25 years the division has developed many technologies for the benefit of the farming community for enhancing yield and sustaining soil health the institute scientists have also worked in tandem with all india coordinated research project on long term fertilizer experiments the basic purpose of this project is to monitor the soil health on over the period of time with time what we are doing by our, what is the effect of our application our agricultural practices so that we can maintain our soil if some problem comes then we should have a solution for that also indian soils have a rich biodiversity in both fauna and flora the soil microbe complex is vital because of the services it provides for agriculture waste management and the water industry the division of soil biology has the following thrust area of research characterization and prospecting of soil biodiversity research on compost quality improvement soil organic pools dynamics and carbon sequestration organic farming and produce quality bioremediation the division is well equipped to carry out research on bioprospecting of vast microbial diversity for improving crop production nutrient use efficiency and soil health we have developed several technology among them four are very promising one is phosphosulfur nitro compost vermi compost microbial and dish compost and rapid rapid uh, rapo compost we have identified three epigeic artworm among them one is iridulus eugenia aicina fetida perinoxis cavitus are very promising and uh, we are using them for actually the decomposition of organic matter scientists of the division have isolated various microbes for improving nutrient use efficiency composting bioremediation and other ecosystem services a rapo compost technology for recycling of kitchen waste and vegetable waste has been developed which can considerably reduce the time required for composting from 4 months to 45 days also a biofilter is developed where fungal species are employed to reduce the heavy metal load from municipal solid waste we have developed in situ decomposition 
technique for direct recycling of crop residue in the field. For that, some conscious of microbes we are using directly in the field. We have developed compost quality standard and that standard has accepted Bureau of Indian standard and finally published in uh, fertilizer control order. The division has screened different floriculture plants and xerophytic plants for the remediation of soils contaminated with heavy metals which has immense promise for remediation of contaminated soils of peri-urban areas. Closely related to the division is the network project on biofertilizers. Microorganisms existing just few centimeters below our feet decides our existence or not. All in a network project on soil biodiversity and biofertilizer plays an important role for soil health, sustainable agriculture and climate change as well. We are also working with UK and Argentina to understand the microbial diversity through genomics approach. Realizing the need of protecting the soil resources for sustaining the agricultural production, the Division of Environmental Soil Science was instituted in IISS. Division of Environmental Soil Science has been created in the year 1997 with the major mandate of conducting researches on soil pollution and remediation of polluted lands. During the last two decades, this division has made significant contribution in the field of heavy metal pollution in soil and crop and has developed technologies on its remediation. The major achievements of the division in the last two decades include generation of database in some major heavy metal polluted streams and soils, nitrate pollution of groundwater in the high fertilizer consuming districts of India, impact assessment of sewage water and tannery effluent irrigation on soil health and crop quality, quantification of greenhouse gas emission under different tillage systems. The division has also developed new fertilizer materials like pine oleoresin coated urea, nano rock phosphate, nano zinc oxide coated urea and seed coating with nanoparticle to increase the use efficiency of phosphorus and zinc. To be productive and stable, soil must be physically, nutritionally and biologically balanced. The division of soil physics is engaged with research on management of physical health of soil to sustain crop production. The Division of Soil Physics, Indian Institute of Soil Science, having the flagship of conservation agriculture, carbon sequestration, vis service climate change. This is one of the important divisions which, which is looking at the maintenance, sustaining and improving the soil physical quality. We are looking at the impact of the conservation agriculture on improvement of the soil health, water management, gaseous dynamics uh, within the system, outside the system and the nutrient uh, you know, management of the agriculture system. Scientists of the division are engaged with climate change prediction and crop simulation studies. They have developed different prediction models of soil properties using MIR spectra. This division has developed some low cost technologies for the assessment of physical parameters of soil health like infiltrometer made up of PVC pipe, wire quadrant from coat hanger, penetrometers from tensile wire and technique to measure the aggregate stability. The institute is also working and has collaboration with several international organizations. The institute has several collaborative studies nationally and internationally. Some of these are with ICRISAT, FAO, Australian Centre for International Agriculture Research. Currently, the institute is working with ICRAF Nairobi and also having project with Argentina and United Kingdom on virtual nitrogen fixation center. Institute is also working with SAR countries and African countries for establishing soil testing laboratories. The institute is organizing farmers fairs at regular intervals. It is also conducting several frontline demonstrations in farmers fields. The institute scientists are also working in the new government initiatives like Mera Gao Mera Gaurav, under which the institute has adopted 55 villages. The institute staff is also performing the expected duties in Swachh Bharat mission of the government.
The institute scientists have played a key role in the government soil health card scheme. The institute is conducting frequent training programs in soil health assessment for the personnel of state departments of agriculture and Krishi Vigyan Kendras. The institute has recently come out with a mini laboratory, Mrita Parikshak, which can analyze 15 soil health parameters. The mini lab is already deployed in several Krishi Vigyan Kendras and laboratories of state departments of agriculture. In recognition to institute's contribution in soil health assessment, ICAR, Indian Institute of Soil Science, Bhopal, was the national winner of Mahindra Samriddhi Krishi Sansthan Samman 2016. Mahindra Samriddhi India Agri Awards 2016 Krishi Sansthan kiya jata. Besides, the institute scientists have backed several national and international awards. The institute has recently come out with Vision 2050 document. Some of the initiatives which to be taken in the years to come are use of nanotechnology in nutrient delivery and also to enhance its efficiency, use of genomics in assessment of microbial diversity and soil health, novel microbial inoculants and consortia development, impact of climate change variables and their management on crop growth, water and nutrient use efficiency, conservation agriculture which is very important, more studies on that and for their adoptions in dominant crops and cropping systems of India, in situ residue decomposition studies for rice, wheat and sugarcane for enhancing crop productivity and soil health maintenance, use of new techniques such as MIR spectroscopy for soil health characterizations 